Well, hey friends, it is the end of February. I've almost let this month get away from me because it's a short month, but I wanted to share with you my February thrift store finds. I thought I'd change it up a little bit this month. This particular month, unlike others, I went into my bargain center a couple times. I've mentioned this before in some places in the country call it the outlet. Some people call it the bargain center. You know, things that don't sell in the regular store, they move it over there or in my particular bargain center, half of the stuff there is not priced or anything, so it's never even been in the store. I don't know what their protocol is or how they determine what goes where. I went two times this month and just found some really great things. The first being this quilted flag. If you follow me, you know I have a huge flag collection, and I just couldn't pass this up. I mean, I certainly didn't need another Christmas flag, but it was so pretty and such an expensive flag that I just had to get it. And I've and your bargain centers may be different, but ours, you pay by the pound. Just about anything I've bought is 50 cents to a dollar. It's like yard sale prices. I may have paid a dollar for this beautiful flag. I'm going to lift it up and show you some of the bargain center goodies I found. This right here was just a Walmart Christmas scrapbooking pad. It was originally almost $7, and I probably paid 50 cents for it. But if you're a crafter like me, you can never have enough Christmas scrapbook paper. Really cute. It's about 90% there, and just beautiful Christmas paper. The next thing was wrapped up in a beautiful cellophane with some paper shreds. It's from a boutique called The Parsonage in Augusta, Georgia. And I could tell it was a really cute bird, and I kind of felt around and could tell she wasn't broken. But I just love this little bird. I am such a sucker for birds, and it was so pretty. There's no telling how much this costs at a little boutique. It went home with me for pennies on a dollar. Just thought it was so cute, and I'll definitely decorate with that this spring. And this cute little metal tray had a Hobby Lobby price tag of $21.99. I don't know who would have ever paid that much, which, you know, their stuff is always 40% off. Someone would have paid about $16 for this metal tray. May not keep it the yellow chevron but it's such a pretty a metal lace edging i could spray paint it or chalk paint it and i will definitely find somewhere to use that metal tray the next thing was just an antique hymnal uh, it's kind of a small some people tie lace on it and decorate books like that I will definitely decorate with this old hymnal somehow. Here was a candle. It looked like it had been lit maybe five minutes. And it's from a company called Smith Mountain Industries. If you ever heard of that, I researched it, couldn't find anything on it. But I immediately smelled it, and it was lemon. And at the bottom of it says lemon shortbread. It smells so good. And it's such a soft wax. It, it does feel like it's a soy candle. So I'm guessing this is an expensive candle. So if you know anything about Smith Mountain Industries, let me know. Got this little handful of little flags. I did a yard tour last year and I showed you where between Memorial Day and through July, I like to put little cute things in my flower pots. You know, if you go to the dollar store, you only get like four for a dollar. I got this whole handful. I probably maybe paid a dollar for. This was a brand new, works perfectly, an umbrella that you clip on your lawn chair. My grandkids are starting soccer, and this will be just perfect and exactly what I need starting next month. I didn't look up the price of this, but I didn't pay over a dollar or so for this. And last but not least is this great big kind of vintage, it's almost like a quilting hoop, but I'm going to make some kind of wreath out of this, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you that you will be seeing this again probably sometime in March when I create a spring mantle. Just loved that for a dollar or so. So now I'm gonna show you some things I found in just the regular store and other thrift stores around town. I, I am in the process of taking down some of my formal things in my dining room and transitioning into farmhouse all over. And I wanted to put some wooden shelves up. Well, I came across these little smaller shelves, not exactly what I was wanting to begin with, but for 99 cents each, I mean, I can't buy the wood or the brackets for that. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna make this work. And I thought I'll hang those up on my wall somehow offset them some we'll see but i just thought they were really pretty and will fit into what i'm going for the next thing was a brand new and i they must have discontinued this or changed the packaging i can't open it up with one hand but it's still sealed they had a a couple of these arbonne if you're not familiar with this this was probably thirty dollars i'm not joking this stuff is so expensive this brand of makeup and skincare and i got it for 59 cents 
It is the Pamper Mint Foot Cream. They also had a scrub there, but I won't use the scrub, so I just left it there for somebody. But, you know, for 59 cents, I know it was good stuff, and I'll enjoy using that. I've mentioned before my husband is a beekeeper. I just thought it was so cute with the bumblebee in the bottom and be happy on both sides. It is a nicer coffee cup, and I like a big coffee cup. I've, I've been collecting birds for a long time, and I just thought these two little white doves were super cute for 99 cents. They didn't appear to be Dollar Tree quality. Little things like this I can put on tiered trays and little shelves around the house. I thought these two little wooden stars were cute to either put on a wreath or to create a summertime or patriotic mantle. These are 99 cents each and just loved the look of them. I picked up four navy blue cotton napkins, 59 cents each. I couldn't buy the fabric for $2.40. So I just picked them up. I use them for centerpieces and use them as table runners and table decorations and stuff. Just add that to my stash. This was a 99 cent kind of table runner. It's kind of a square table runner, but I just thought it would be so pretty for spring with the chambray trim and the little pink stitched flowers. And this little sign here looks like it's been in the weather for maybe one season, but I just couldn't pass it up. I say this saying all the time, dear Lord, let this be a flip-flop day. I could tell the flip-flops have had a little weathering, but for 75 cents, it had to come home with me, even if I have to repaint it or cut out some more flip-flops if these weather anymore. And last but not least was a brand new set, but they look to be like Cracker Barrel quality. And I don't know if Cracker Barrel sells this brand or not. But during Christmas time, I love to decorate my kitchen in gingerbread. They are quilted. They have the rickrack trim, the boy and the girl with buttons. They're very embellished. It looks like something from Cracker Barrel, and I can assure you they wouldn't be 59 cents each. They'd be more like five to eight dollars each. So cute. Looking forward to using those in my kitchen this next Christmas. So those are some of my February goodies I found. Like I say every month, I encourage you to go thrifting because I can find cute stuff for a fraction of the cost. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.